Jim McClure then. <laughs> this is James Rudder for IFL TV in association with Mackie's Jim. I with me, I've got the white rhino Dave Allen after his points win against Rugby Tori Yang. How are you feeling, Dave? Yeah, I feel, um, I feel good. It's a good win, it's a very good win. He's rated a lot higher than me. Uh, it's a good fight, he's got some, say, he beat Gregory Tony and some Barno Love. Uh, I've dropped him in the first 15 seconds and uh, just got stuck in a fight with a big, tough man. And, uh, you know, it was pretty level, pretty level. It was level apart from the knockdown, so it's a good win. It's a, you know, I toughed it out, took some big shots. And I got the win, that's the main thing, you know, that'll move me up. But, you know, I spoke to my manager and trainer, Steffi, and um, it's about learning. We're just going to get back on it and get back learning, and, uh, you know, we'll get there, we'll get there. I'm only 23. I was expecting a big six foot seven, like, swinger, and, uh, you know, and um, so wait, you was expecting to face someone of six foot seven. Yeah, they got someone six foot one, and then you ended up getting someone of six foot one. Was that quite hard for yourself to, to, to switch around everything you've done in yeah, camp? Yeah, yeah. It, the opposite ends of the spectrum in, in stands. He was a southpaw tonight, different style, very experienced. I was actually an in, inexperienced giant, and that's that's no excuse. You know, it's a win. It's a win, and uh, that's the main thing. I'm unbeaten in nine. I mean, only 10 amateur fights, you know, and I've got a win over a really high-rated Frenchman there. And it was a good fight. I know you didn't see it, but, you know, it was like a poor man's Gatty Ward in there. That's what was going off. And uh, I don't want too many of them, because I'll end up like, well, not Gatty, hopefully. But, yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was good. It was a good fight. And uh, I think people will want to watch me again after that. But it wasn't impressive. It was nowhere near what I can do, but it's a win and we move on. What do you think the likes of Andy Joshua would think if he watched today's performance? He would probably be laughing his massive really muscles off <laughs> that. You know, there's no disrespect with me calling Anthony out. You know, I hope he doesn't feel like that. Um, I'm talking about in two years' time. I need another ten fights. Two years, lots of hard work, and uh, I'll get there. It's all there. But my inexperienced shows um, in the ring when it comes to real men's nice shows, but I've got a bigger heart and a bigger set of things than any, than any man out there, you know, I'm a, I'm a fighter at heart and I want to learn, I've got a great team around me, Jack Sunderland over there, Steffi Paul, Ray Doyle, Steve Flitz, the rest of the team and uh, you know, we definitely will get there, I'm not on a downer, I'm, I'm a little disappointed in the, in the performance but you know, there's a lot of positives to take and uh, we move on. How is things working out with Steffi Ball? I said you look a lot trimmer than when we've seen you in the past. You, yeah. you seem a lot more focused and a lot more comfortable within yourself. So, things working out well with Steffi? Yeah, really well. You know, as an old family friend, uh, we've got a great personal relationship. Same with Jack, um, same with Steve and the rest of the team. Um, you know, I'm not going to be too down on performance. It's not a great performance, but you know, we've got the win and we, we'll just move on. It's just about winning at the end, sorry, at the end of the day, and uh, that's what I've done. So, uh, you know, we, we, I'm still going to call people out because I'm still me. I'm, I'm still, a, I'm still, I still am what I am and that's a crazy individual who loves to fight. So, um, you know, whatever comes next, we'll take it. I might in five weeks' time, don't, cast, don't cast a dough. Okay. So hopefully a lot of people can watch that because, you know, it's going to be another six-rounder um, when I come to fight. So. Don Doncaster's got a heavyweight prospect. They should be getting behind you and getting part of the White Rhino campaign. Yeah, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a real exciting fighter, you know. I told Coogan the other day, I'm a wonderful looking creature. And like, I'm going to put Doncaster on the map like Jamie McDonald has done. You know, and I, I just wish I could like, do what Jamie's done. On a, on a ten times smaller scale, I'd be happy, you know. You know people need to get behind Doncaster boxing, not, not just myself. Jamie, Gavin, you know, and, uh, you know, just come and support me at the Dome in five weeks because it's going to be another great fight and another win. All right, well, listen, on that note, we look forward to seeing you out in action in five weeks from now. Good win today. You said it weren't always as you may have planned it, but yeah, yeah, he's, he's got he's the a rounds. It's a, good, it's a good result. You move up the rankings. He's, he's beat a European champion. He's beat some Barno Love. He's got some good wins. I've gone in there and um, I'm excited. I'm excited. And, and I, I aim to excite and I aim to uh, impress. And I may not have impressed, but I'm excited. All right. That's a definite. On that note, we'll catch you again real soon. Thank you for your time. Thank mate. you, James. Always, always a pleasure. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Cheers.